Greetings, members, one and all of the Salvation Nation. It is Sunday night, and we are live. That's right. This is our weekly market watch, where we take a look at the markets and see what's going on and see how they are reacting. And uh, really, there's not a whole lot that happens on when the markets open up in Asia at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. But... Once in a while, we get a little fluke like we did last week. Of course, that was a just a pure glitch, but it was fun to watch indeed. So we got a good folks popping in here. We've got Couch Potatoes Kennedy, who was first. Juan Ortiz, Mr. Octopus. Bean Demon, I think he's new. Welcome. Hello. John Harlson, I think, is new too. Hello. Thank you guys for being here. And Coin Collecting Fun is here. Yes, indeed. Good to see Coin Collecting Fun. All right. Check his channel out. He's got uh, does a good job just showing some cool coins that he gets as uh, as gifts and the like. We've got Jacob McKay. Henry is here. Hello, Henry and Silverback Stacker. Boy, Silverback Stacker um, showed off some really cool uh, creations from the his uh, talents on his channel. Check it out. And Century Sylvia is here. What up? Just chilling. What's up, troop? All right. So we're going to get rocking and rolling with the with the uh, this particular part of the stream broadcast we're going to do a little comment review which we do that in between we got a little bit before the markets open up so we'll start with that aspect of it all right very good we've got the jeff code uh, Kone says i think one of the safer portfolios is 25 percent gold and 75 percent t bonds all right yes indeed this is about the video about 35 percent gold in your portfolio you would have probably done well Pamela Rice says at least. Yes, indeed. We get Pamela Rice here. Good to see you. Hello, uh, AG47 Surfer. Just got the Salivate Metal 2-ounce Salivation Nation round from Atmex. Congratulations. I hope you like it. I hope it arrived okay. All right. Thank you so much, Calvin Cooper. He said a prayer for me at church today. Well, that's very kind of you. I really appreciate that. I definitely can use the prayers. I think we all can. I certainly appreciate it. All right. Very good. And uh, John Halston saw Slater. Speaking of prayers, they might need some prayers too. But no, they're a talented band. I missed the opportunity to see them as well. But you saw them. That's awesome for the final time. All right. Spend some Slater money on silver. Very good. Hello, the slippery drip. How about a sippery drip of coffee? Yeah. Mm. All right. Hello, Sal, says Gary. And Winning Image Photography is here. Hello, Winning Image Photography. Good to say that nine times fast. All right. Okay. B Demon says, I'm actually Barbara. Uh, just didn't want my name out there so much. Oh, yeah. No worries. B Demon. Okay. So very good. I think I know who, you're who, who you are then. Very good. Thank you so much. B Demon. Welcome. Yeah, it's probably a good, good thing to use a synonym. So that's probably good. All right. Very good. All right. Jeff Coney's here. Thank you so much. He was the, one of the, just, he was the first comment to uh, respond to today. Let's get rocking on this. Michael Sorrell is very conservative with his pensions and may still get screwed. Yeah, I know. I hear you. It does seem to be the case. Some of these pensions, you never know. You never truly save. Um, and there's always a risk with every single thing you do, by the way. But as far as financially, it seems like uh, precious metals seem to be a good way to kind of um, hedge that. Hedge your bets when times get tough. All right. AR... Detectorismo is here. Thumbs up. Hello, Silver Steelers here. Very good to see you, Silver Steeler. Um, I heard a rumor that winning image photography had a huge crush on you, but, uh, you know, that's just what's going around the mill here. All right. By the way, check out Silver Steelers channel. We posted a great video today out of the three locations showing the Queen's Beast, the Red Dragon. All right. All right, BC says the question is not stated correctly in his opinion. I need to first understand that worth, then decide what percentage of your worth you like to have in precious metals and determine what percentage of that number you want to have in gold. If your net worth is relatively small, let's say 100K, then you want 10% precious metals, and you're talking about one to two ounces of gold, not very significant. Stick with silver until your net worth is at least 1 million and accumulate a lot more potential in silver and gold. Um, uh, yeah, wow, okay. Yeah, that's a good point if you break it down like that, uh, based off net worth. Um, but, um, yeah, uh, I don't know. Okay, let's see here. 
Hello, Silver Fox. Good to see you. And hello, Colonic Stacker. Good to see you. Hello. All right. Stuck Truck and Prepper says, yeah, 35% gold, 35% silver, 10% platinum, 20% brass and lead. Clad. There you go. All right. Truck and Prepper. Very good. John Smith says, I think the percentage you have should be should not just be a relative amount, but should also take into consideration absolutes. For example, if you only have $10,000 in asset, only holding 5% or $500 in gold or even 2000 for that matter, really isn't going to help a whole lot. There's an economic crisis. Therefore, the relative amount should also increase. Well, that's true. However, if you only have $10,000 in assets, that means you don't have, you're probably not earning a whole lot of money, uh, which means you may not be able to afford to have even 5%. All right, very good. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Frank Pickard, no more available. Why? For the scalpers, screw them. Yes, I know, I know. It's crazy. Well, Mark B says, well, then I need more gold, Uncle Sal, and less silver. All right, well, I think it's going to diversify into gold. Gold is the ultimate hedge, I've always said. Um, silver's a good, um, it's a little bit more volatile, um, but silver, gold, I think, is the ultimate hedge. All right. Alan Gold believes that you should have 100% of your portfolio in the gold. And he's saying, yes, he's a moron. He said, yeah, moron. He's talking to himself. So finally, Alan Gold admits that he's a moron. That's very nice of him. All right. Mm. Uh, Steve Garrard says, hey, Sal, I got 75% of money in physical gold and silver. Your paper currency will be worthless in the near future. I know what's coming. So 75% is good, and I sleep extremely well at night. Well, okay. Um, yeah. There you go. Well, uh, as long as you know what you're doing with it, that's great. You know, definitely. Okay. Over here, where is over here? He's over there. Actually, he's over here. He's not over here, but he's over there. Uh, B Demon correctly says that silver is a good place to start, especially if you're on a low income, for sure. All right. Hello, Carnese West Jr. Hello. I think he's new here, too. Good to see you. All right. Harry Zero says, yep, minimum another 35% in silver in the Russian cash and groceries. There are extraordinary. These are extraordinary times. That they are. Okay, the market's about to open. So let's take a look here. We're going to pause. We're going to refresh this page and see what we've got in terms of the markets. They're going to open up, up in two minutes, probably less than a minute now. So we'll see what Kalonic Stacker's MMA matchup is. It's Morbid Angel Guitars, Trey Azagoth versus German Chancellor Angela Merkel. I'm going to have to go with Trey Azagoth. Trey Azagoth was influenced heavily by uh, Eddie Van Halen. However, he has adapted it to an extreme death metal style. And a great guitar player for sure. I'm going to have to go hands down. Uh, Trey Azagoth. Besides, Angela Merkel has been shaking a lot lately, so you put a guitar in her hand, she's going to have a little trouble with it. All right. Hello, Buffalo Billion. He's about 50% in. Spectacular says, howdy, howdy. All right. Mm. Hey, you guys are going to want to subscribe to Spectacular's channel. He does a, he's got a great, very successful series of videos with the coin guy. Uh, who is very articulate and knows this stuff about coins and just uh, easy going, very entertaining video. So just check it out if you haven't already. So for backstackers looking through a junk bin at a coin show today, found a 1901 Zacatecas peso for 18 bucks. The dealer insisted it was a generic round. Sweet home, Pennsylvania. Nice buy. All right, Donald of New Mexico. Hello, Donald. Good to see you. All right. So now the markets have opened. Let's see what they're doing now. All right. So the market has opened. Gold, folks, is down 20 cents. That's right. And down to 1468.70. That means it's going to crash. That's right. It's going to just bottom out. That's what that means. Silver is up one cent. That's 0.03%. That means, well, the obvious we can read from this is silver is going to explode into the stratosphere. It is literally going to the moon. There's a magnet on the moon that is that is sucking all the silver up from Earth and is going to take it right up to the moon. That's what's going to happen. Uh, you can bet your bottom dollar on it. Not only your bottom dollar, but all the dollars that are in between the bottom and the top. It's going to get those two. All right, very good. Platinum is not doing anything, and that can only mean one thing. It will not do anything later either. All right. And palladium is uh, down two bucks. And what does that mean? Well, 
what I don't know. What am I a fortune teller? Just because I told you exactly what gold is going to do, what silver is going to do, doesn't mean and platinum is going to do. Doesn't mean that I know what palladium is going to do. You know, I'm not that talented of a seer. You know what I'm saying? Rhodium is flat again. All right, very good. Yes, indeed. And people are butthurt. That's right, Optimus Locus. You know, these live streams, we like to have a little fun. We do talk serious stuff, too, but I'm playing around with the markets here. Let's get back here. We'll come back to those markets and see what's happening. Self-aware is very self-aware. He he says, combine that with a percent in silver, and now you have a much tougher question. What is the balance for both? Fiat will fail when the Fed starts to agree, and they just did look out. Um, get all you can at this point. Then when they throw their gold and silver in the streets, I'll pick it up. I'm not proud. There you go. <laughs> All right. Very good. Thank you. Hello, Silver Wolverine is here. Silver Wolverine, guys. Check him out. He posted a great video. He posted, posted one of the first videos about the enhanced reverse proof um, silver dollar. And it got a heck of a lot of views. So nice job there. All right. Let's see. PD Ballerina, 35% makes sense. Blaine P has done the math on this. Yes, that's right. Someone else mentioned to me that Blaine P had talked about it as too, and I forgot. I might, might, may have been a video that I missed of his. Thanks, PD Ballerina. Good to see you. All right. Hello, uh, Cliff, by the way. He's here. We all live in a silver wolverine. We was Vikings and Shiite. It looks lighter than a kilogram of gold. What is heavier than a kilogram of gold or a kilogram of titanium? Uh huh. Good trick question there, indeed. Uh, I appreciate your opinion and insight, Sal. Thank you so much, Rogue. Appreciate that very much on that. All right, and on the uh, still a chance on the enhanced reverse proof, a lot of people are asking why grading companies didn't want you to open the package. The reason is that there are 100 signed by Mint Director. If you open the box, someone can copy the signature, and there will be a lot of problems grading and confirm the original 100 sign. There's a lot of scammers out there that will do anything. Well, dang, Eugene, that's exactly what I was planning on doing. I'm a master at forging documents. Um, I've done it for in many cases. I'm proud of my forgery experience, and I was going to forge its signature. Yes, indeed. Yes, that was what – no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I have no idea. I, I couldn't do it. Uh Plus, if I messed up on that COA, I'd really be out of luck, you know, for sure. But uh, that doesn't make sense. Someone could try to copy the signature, but, um, you know, I don't know. Common Commander says, I laugh when they say, oh, well, we don't know what the future value of gold and silver will be. I can predict a few things already. Debt will continue to pile up worldwide. Class warfare will continue to escalate the panic to fund everything um, and countries will increase metal supply. Currencies, 35% is a good start. All right. Well, yeah. And I think he's talking about, as I mentioned in the video, that that's based off the performance. If you'd have had 35% in gold, you would have uh, done well. But no one can really predict that. That's seeing gold really in some cases as an, as an investment as opposed to a hedge. Bill Rundle says, gold is too so pricey that I, I will find it difficult in using it. A $1,000 transaction and payment could trigger an investigation by police or the IRS. Actually, that's wrong. That's not going to get, I think, uh, this is a case where we need Barbara Carbone here uh, or Italian G, but that is wrong. A $1,000 transaction is not going to trigger an investigation by the police or IRS. Silver is for the common person. And with the use of gold, we can be very... Must be very careful in security. The loss of the one gold coin can result in a loss of a large sum of money. That's true. This type of, uh, of advice about gold is not expounded on in YouTube videos. A retailer uh, have a difficult time with $50. They're going to do with $500 to $2,000 gold piece. Uh, that is a good, uh, that is a good um, point there for sure. Um, you know, about the transaction and about losing your gold. If you lost it, it'd be lost. So you got to be very careful with it, which is why I talked about in another video recently about how to secure your gold uh, for sure. Uh, but to correct you, Bill Rundle, it's a $10,000 transaction that you have to report to the IRS, not $1,000. Uh, but uh, let's see here. And, uh, and But you're absolutely right that a large gold piece is going to be more difficult to spend. Uh, silver is great for small transactions, everyday transactions for sure. All right, I actually talked about that in my video today. 
so very good. All right. Nice. Thank you, Bill. And Gold Addict says check. Yes. All right. Very good. We got that Ken Shen Kenji here. All right. Very good. Uh, let's see here. Oh, Silver Backstacker says banks can report you for any amount, but will they? I guess technically they could, right? But will they? Um, more likely they're not going to bother with uh, with any kind of um, smaller transactions, will they? Uh, Fiat Destroyer says, I saw a video too. Seems like a smart guy. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yeah, it does seem pretty intelligent. Hello, Media Man. Good to see you. Let's see here. 35% sounds a bit low. Yeah. Just depends on how much money you have, I guess, right? Part-time preppers, about 2% in gold and 8% in silver for us at the moment. Uh, hoping to get to 15% in total before we start out the rat race, but won't argue with 35%. All right. Yes, indeed. Um. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Silver backstacker. Yeah. Th those kind of cases. Yeah. If you're, if you're uh, <clears throat> trying to skirt the law and making these transactions that are right near the level. Oh yeah. They'll definitely um, investigate that. Yeah. That's right. Okay. Let's see here. Yeah. Where is Terry 79? Uh, let's see here. I guess we'll have to wait until she shows up to continue this live stream. Right. I'm kidding. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. All right. Yeah, I wonder what happened with the Baltimore Coin Show. Uh, but check out my um, – I haven't seen anybody post a video from there yet. Uh, I wanted to go, but I, I just didn't go. Um, didn't have any money to spend. <laughs> I bought that gold coin. Uh, let's see here. Hello, Silver Junkie. Good to see you. All is one now is here. And where's Tricky Guy? Where's Tricky Guy? He's Tricky. Graham Stacker, love the gold. I've got lots of guns and off-site storage. Protect your family and wealth at all times. That's right. A good plan. He saw that part of the video. This is the video where I talked about security. For sure. Exactly right. Not 35%. He says 50%. All right. Some people are definitely heavily weighted on the silver and gold. I must confess I am too. I'm way above 35%. Way above 35%. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Spectacular says no. You should not have more than 35%. All right. Uh, several two-ounce kitty coins tonight. Gal, right now, says 143 Druid. You missed that 143 Druid. I did give away a coin, a uh, two-ounce solvent metal round last Tuesday on the Stack and Stormtroopers live stream. Were you there? Did you go there? Did you see the other video? You're late and a dollar short. All right, very good. Hello, WTH Coins. Good to see you. How about 85% says I'm Buck? Wow. Yeah, man. Crazy, crazy. All right, 143 Druid did watch it. It was Craig Christ. So he was there. Very good. <coughs> yes. <coughs> it was an interesting video. Yes. Thank you, AG47 Surfer. So he saw the video there. It was kind of wild to see. Chad Lichtenstein, still need to stay in stocks uh, with the Fed doing QE. All right. Says Chad Lichtenstein. I'm guilty of misreading the title of the video before I come in. Oh, okay. No worries. Spectacular. All right. Uh, Silver Honda is here, and he drives a blue Honda. Silver Honda is here. All right. Very good. Tricky guy is back from an exhausting trip, so I'm just lurking, but no, my name was invoked with a single intent to be funny, except the usually joke I tell, which is Donald in New Mexico. All right. Okay. Let's move on up this. Fib uh, says, I'm not arguing against the idea of holding 35% of gold in one's portfolio, but I do question this fellow's logic. He says... Gold's correlation to the market or indeed any other economic force is essentially zero. Really? That's quite wrong, isn't it? Gold and its price are inextricably linked to economic forces. It's the metal's DNA to be that way. The trouble condition of the worldwide central banking system, um, sub-zero bond rates uh, whatsoever are all contributing factors. I think what he's saying is intrinsic value of gold 
is as such that just because of its very existence, gold has value aside from those. Um, yes, it does react to the markets for sure, but it, uh, if it didn't react to the markets, it would just continue to maintain its value. I think the reaction of the markets um, and, and its volatility that we've seen, and yes, gold has been volatile to an extent, not as volatile as silver, but it is a good point. I see what you're saying, but I think I'm, if I'm interpreting him correctly and what he was saying, it's because of the uh, intrinsic value. All right. Medium man, the first thing I thought of is I'd rather have 99% gold than 35%. Yes, indeed. Yes, that's, that's right. That, that, is, that is, it seems like it's a purity question as opposed to a percentage of your portfolio. Yeah. Should you have 35% gold in your portfolio? No, I want triple nine fine at the least investment grade gold. All right. Good point. Uh, let's see here. So Silver Honda is sad and butthurt that he didn't get the 2019 reverse proof eagle that I decided to crash my blue Honda into cow poo. Oh, man, I'm sorry, my friend. Yeah. Mm. Did you get the um, the W, the Pride of Two Nations set by any chance? I think you did. Didn't you get that set? Uh, Terry, let's, get, let's invoke Terry to come on in here. Stop messing around with that loser medal. You know what it is. To stick to the ultimate hedge. You know I'm right. Oh, my gosh. Terry, Terry. Now, you know. All right. Jimmy Hotel. I did not get one. And I owe it all to you. I did get one. I owe it all to you, Sal. I watched your video on it, I think, two days before I did not know about the mintage limit. So, thanks. Well, thank you. And I actually, I have to thank uh, Silver Wolverine for his video which caused me to kind of look because I was going to pass on it too. All right. Very good. Nine thumbs up. We've got nine thumbs up on this live stream here. What was this? 80, 22 thumbs up now. Okay. Very good. 83 watching. So now let's pause and let's take a look at the markets and see what they're doing right now. Okay, folks, the markets are reacting pretty much the same as before, pretty much flat down 20 cents for gold, silver up a cent. Um, and platinum up one dollar. There you go. Platinum is up one dollar. Uh, getting close to that nine hundred dollar level again. Very good. Okay, let's see here. So not a whole lot of activity, but we will keep abreast of the markets and see what's going on there. Uh, if we do see any crazy wild gesticulations in the prices, we'll obviously assume that it is a um, that it is going to be a glitch. Look at that right here. That's kind of crazy. Palladium went down this little drip down here. Palladium went down to 1672 or something like that for a brief amount of time last week. All right, where are we at here? Let's see here. Eddie in Vic Carrasso La Cruz says, in 2011, I managed to get my hands on a 2011 one-ounce fine Mountie coin, the ultra-scarce low-mintage Honors, yes, indeed. A boast of a minuscule image of just 8,408 pieces. Wow. Making it the rarest Royal Canadian Mint bullion coins of five nines purity and attractive design, make it one of the most beloved Canadian gold coins. I didn't know the uh, mintage was that low. That's wild, Eddie. Thank you. All right. So, Wolverine, just curious, when you bought the enhanced reverse proof, did you use your store credit card or did you have to input new info? I had to input new info. There was one time when it did call it up, but then it disappeared. I had to refresh it again. Hello, J3B. Good to see you. Let's see if he gives me a hashtag slurp when I do the slurp. I'm wondering if he'll do it. I'm curious to see if it happens. Ah, I'm thinking it's gonna. I think it's gonna show up. I really do believe. Yes. Boom. We got it. We got a hashtag slurp from J3B. Bam. There it is, folks. You heard it right here. You saw it. All right. Tricky guy. Don't be politically incorrect and say abreast of the prices. You have to alternate a penis of prices or you're a clod. Or I should just say or a um, um, ambiguous genitalia of prices. How's that? All right. Without nipples, breasts are pointless. That's right. That's true. Is the edges of the Pride of Two Nations reverse proof? Uh, oh, the, the eagle of oh, the eagle. Yes, the eagle. Yes, it's going to be the same. Um, 
check out, I don't have the video out, but check out my video about um, $77 an ounce. I have that, that coin shown in that video and you can see it. Uh, but I think that the eagle itself is frosted, if I'm not mistaken. Eagles, all right. All right, let's see here. Alan Gold is about to beat me like a Hong, Hong Konger. Like a Hong Kong. Oh, my gosh. Good grief. Son of a motherless goat. I wouldn't want to get flogged. I'm about to hit Alan Gold like the quarterback from uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers with a helmet. Bam, right on the head. Boom to Alan Gold. We have just threatened each other with violence right here. This is live stream. Oh, my goodness. This is where will it go? 7Z71 USA, longtime subscriber, first time catching a live stream. Well, thank you so much, Z71. You know, I've, I've got to realize that sometimes there are viewers that don't comment, but there are some that watch that don't, don't comment. So it's good to see you. Welcome for coming aboard here. Appreciate it very much. Very much appreciate you watching. All right. Eddie's Little Stack has nothing to say. All right, but you're here. All right. All right. Everybody knows he's the cutest little dictator. That he is. Yes, indeed. Alan, I think Alan Gold should start his own live streams. I think that would be fun. I said, Alan Gold, we still want to know what specifically you were doing while you were gone. You were away from us. And you didn't even tell me. You didn't even tell me. You know what I mean? All right, J3B, what are the chances that when I slurp, that Alan Gold will do a hashtag slur slurp? Truck and Prepper says I'm a creepy lurker. <laughs> oh, man. All right. All right, Alan Gold is going to do a hashtag slurp when I drink this coffee. Here we go. Here we go. It's about, it's about to happen. Alan Gold is about to obey my command and type hashtag slurp. It's coming. Here, here he goes. Here he goes. I'm, we're waiting for it. It's going to happen. Yeah, I heard about that. It was trying to just twist the guy's head off and kick him in, the, in his man parts. Our time for the heroes. All right, slurpage. Alan Gold did not obey instructions. He did not obey instructions. Come on, Alan. You can do it. I want you just to conform this one time. Actually, all the time I want you to conform. May the Schwartz be with you. Slup. Hashtag slup. All right, Wolfman, can you do me a favor and get Alan Gold to type hashtag slurp in all capital letters for me? I appreciate it. We need for him to conform. I need resistance is futile, Alan Gold. You must. You must do it because Wolfie has power. He's got the power. Wolfie does. Hypnotizing power. Jim Farrell says, I think 20% of gold and silver combined is a good rule. 50% gold and 5% silver. Gold is a big money maker where silver has the potential to outperform gold, but the returns are not there. My gold is my wealth. My silver is my passion. Nice simple. Yeah, good, good point. Good analysis there. Hello, Native Stacker. Xerox and Wurlitzer are merging. They're going to make reproduction organs. There you go. I like that. I like that. Reproduction organs. Native Stacker. Boom, bam, boom, bam. J3B, it just didn't happen. He hashtag jerk instead. <laughs> hashtag jerk. Oh, my goodness. Uh, man. Good grief. Yes, you guys heard it here. Right here on this live stream. Alan Gold and I both threatened violence upon each other as persons. Yes, we did. We did it here. It, it was a scary time. Thank you, J3B. The world has come back into, um, uh, what is the word, um, normalcy. Into, uh, you know what I'm saying? All the ladies have run to the hills. Well, that's why. I'm not much of a ladies guy, so they're better. They're out of here. You know what I'm saying? We don't have any chicks here. Well, except for, um, let me see. We've got one. What is her name again? She's got a new name here. But we have one chick here. One chick. That's it. Fight, 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 fight. Yeah, B Demon. There you go. B Demon. She's here. All right. And winning image photography. How can I forget? The lovely winning image photography is here. Yes, indeed. All right. Don Enforcer. Violence and coins make sense to me. There you go, Don Enforcer. Yes. All right. Hello. All right. Where is Pudenda? Yes, where's Pudenda Johnson? All right. ARD Tectorismo. Thumbs up on this video. How to invest in silver when it's oversold. I said invest. I said it purposely. 
Uh, Plabold 28. The Baltimore Corn Show was a little soft today. That's what she said. All the silver and gold content creators should heavily promote the shows and take the opportunity for meet and greet if so inclined. I've been there a couple of times. I just haven't been go this time. I wanted to go this time. All right. I refuse to speak in all cap and non caps tonight. Who was with me? Yes, indeed. I tried I mean, a failed mission to get everybody to type in all caps when Alan Gold shows up, but by the time he showed up, everybody forgot about it. All right. So it's not part of the rule anymore. Are you near Baltimore? I'm close enough that I could have gone to that show. Yes, indeed. Hello, Food Stamp is here saying hello. Good to see Food Stamp. All right, El Monco. Although I will say, some Food Stamp usually says Sup Sal and everyone. So he includes me in on it. He just included everyone this time. All right. And Ophi Matrix. Hello, Ophi Matrix. Good to see you. All right, membered. All right, not 143 Drew at El Capo. El Goldo. Oh, Allen. Randall, Darky. I'm happy to say it's still a buyer's market. I'm still buying. Buy low is the way to go. There you go. It certainly is a buyer's market, indeed. Wonderful, says Super Arena. Thank you so much, Super Arena. Appreciate that. Okay. Yes, a lot of hate over the U.S. Mint. That's right. There sure is. Okay. Where are we at? Hello, Bear Zerker. Good to see you. Henry Von Moog. Working on stacking more gold. I got a bit more. Uh, got bit by the gold bug. Mostly your fault, Sal. Yes, I know. I've been pushing gold. I know. I do think it's good to diversify into some gold. I really do. Um I think gold is the ultimate hedge, ultimate protection. It's been a little bit volatile um, over the last few years, but not as volatile as silver. And it's maintained its its value. It's maintained its worth more than silver has, which I do think silver is somewhat undervalued, but I do think that uh, gold is kind of the ultimate hedge. And I think that's one reason why I'm trying to accumulate a bit more of it. All right. All right. Let's see here. Where are we at? Okay. Below blood pressure, if you buy paper anything, you're part of the problem. All right. Yeah. Well, wow. It is a little harsh. I must agree with over here. Um, but it is somewhat of a point. But at the same time, I kind of can see why people would do it. Kuna Coins, we are the what? The resistance, Kuna Coins. We are the resistance. I'm trying to start a new rebellion here. You know what I'm saying? Five Perth gold bars today. Suck on that. Nice. Dude, he got five one gram Perth gold bars. Congratulations, uh, Alan Gold. Uh, got nabbed. Wow, silver should be going up. Another JP Morgan. Is this recent news? Uh, Donald, New Mexico. Yes, I do have a gold proof buffalo. Indeed, I do. They're nice. 2010 and a 2006. Um, Peter Oro, can you email me about that? If, uh, by any chance, it's um, salivatemetal at gmail.com. Um, I might crack uh, crack open a video about that tomorrow. All right, let's see here. Uh, like early Friday news. Okay, thanks. Thank you so much, Peter. I appreciate that. You the man. Kyle Bush won the NASCAR championship. I th the championship. I thought for sure that what's his name, Danny Hamlin was going to take it. Uh, or Joe Nemechek, you know what I'm saying? But it didn't happen. Oh, J3B with another hashtag slurp. Thank you, sir. You the man. You the man. He's a magnet. He, imagine going magnet fishing in a vat of coffee. That would be quite something else. Silver City, dude, I know that everybody's stack is different, but somebody in the silver community said they have $300,000 in precious metals. I don't have a fraction of that. Wow. Yeah, that's a lot of money. Um, I sell photos that are paper. I really sell my vision art. There you go. So there you go in the paper market. That's a one good way to be in the paper market. Her art, very good winning image. All right. Uh, let's see here. Tricky guy's going to buy the whole chat room. Just tell me how much you would charge me to let me uh, time you out of the session, and I'll see if the whole um, amount is worth it, and I'll have the chat room mine. Indeed. Yes, indeed. All right, where are we at? Okay, uh, Kevin R., useless advice. If you choose different time windows, and 0% gold would be better. Okay. 
I'm not sure what you mean by that, but hello, uh, Sri Ram is here, say here saying good morning from India. Well, welcome, Sri Ram. Thank you for being here. It's a pleasure to have you all the way from India. Very nice. All right. Let's see. Okay. Kevin R., nobody does the real research. What percentage is best at regular investment contributions over 40 years of a work career? Uh, well, that would have to be polling, I guess you'd take. Um, uh, but it's hard to say. I don't know what percentage. Some, most analysts say that somewhere between 5 and 20%, as I mentioned in the video, over your career. Got a few. What size Valcambies are they, Alan Gold? One grams? One grammars? He never did answer. Uh, let's see here. Maybe they're one ounces. We'll find out. Oh, if only Terry was here, she could flirt with Alan Gold. Let's see if Alan answers. He's being very uh, cryptic. He's being very elusive and telling us how so size. Because size does matter in this case. Size matters, Alan Gold. Double stack. Get some new, get some gold now because the price always goes up before I order some. I'm ordering a quarter ounce next weekend. Great video, Sally. I hear you. All right. We got to get it before he does, before it goes up. Uh, gold bar sales in anyway. insane volume lately. Oh, wow. Interesting. Yeah. So people are buying a lot of bars. More than usual. I haven't really checked that. It is something to be interesting to, to see. I don't know what the normal normal would be, but uh, that is interesting. There's a lot of gold bars. So what size bars are they, Alan Gold? Come on. Give us an answer. Get it, give us an answer. Silver Bridges is serious. Yes, indeed. All right. All right, where are we at here? Pete Wales, the power that our try to be will try to keep prices low. All right. Thanks, P. Wales. JW, should you have platinum also, or when SHTF, only gold and silver will matter? Um, and SHTF, only gold and silver. Platinum, forget about it in SHTF, I think. I don't think it'll do you much good in SHTF. Slurp the answer. Slurp the answer. That's right. He still has an answer. Crazy, isn't it? One-tenth of a gram. That's right. Never seen such volume. One ounce always. How dare you? Okay, I thank you. He finally he answers. I figured it was, but I just have to mess with Alan Gold. But you know what I mean? Uh, so, Alan, you've been tracking, kind of seeing, you look at that every once in a while. So you're saying that the volume is higher. That is int very interesting indeed. Hello, the stacking nerd. Good to see you. Drain the Swamp 2.0 is here and Little Slurp, hashtag Little Slurp. All right. Seller recently downloaded an app called Credit Karma, and the next day it came back a list of precious metals buying. I don't know what to think of this. Oh, interesting. Wow. All right. Uh, food stamp purchased a full food stamp book. I don't know how many food stamps it has in it, but it's really good shape. Nice. Some of those older food stamps, like what's in your avatar, are pretty cool looking, I must say. All right. All right. Three scammer numbers that he misplaced. If they're in India, we can probably uh, call them up. Search, click on the sole quantity. Okay. And eBay. All right. Very good. See, I don't know what to compare it to, though, Alan Gold, because I've never really done that, looked that up before. And how long does that go back to? Is that within the last week or two weeks? Or You know what I mean? In other words, eBay can have a listing for a Val Camby one ounce gold bar, and the sales might go back a year. They just have the listing and repeat it over with, and it has the, you know, they sold like 900 and some or whatever. I don't know. I don't know how you would compare that, you know? Trophies, Max Strong, Golden Trophies. Thank you. Three Golden Trophies from Max Strong. Thank you, sir. Uh, surprised they don't raise rates again. The Fed is saying GDP is going to be close to zero for the fourth quarter. Interesting. We'll see if that happens. I think it's in one point something now, right? Uh, signed Salivate Metal CA, COA will go for 20K easily. Wow. Man, can you imagine if that, uh, the grading company's got a hold of that? All right. Keith Hyde sold his Cooper, got a 100 ounce bar of silver and a 1960 BMW R27 motorcycle that needs some work. Not bad. Nice. 
saying 500 to 1,000 in 24 hours. Not all should uh, the activity by time show. Uh, okay, wow, that is a lot in 24 hours indeed. Man. Uh, let's see here. Sign them. I'll sign them all. Yes, indeed. I'll sign your enhanced reverse proof eagle. Send them my way. I'll sign them. All right. All right. Have a good night. He's got to give his residents their medication. Silver Honda does before they escape. Keep your feet on your silver and keep stacking your coffee. Indeed. It's the Alan Gold Show, much higher than one month ago. Okay, good point. So he looked at it a month ago, and there is some activity. There's some movement. eBay, even though it's somewhat anecdotal, my guess is that's probably an indication of uh, a lot of buying now in other markets too, uh, not just eBay. That's just one listing, he says. So there might be something going on behind the scenes. Alan might be onto something there. Uh, so yeah, does that mean that we're about to see uh, a big move in spot prices? Somebody knows something, it sounds like, to see that much activity in the in the gold market. That's just eBay. Um, multiples are selling at that rate. Are they what price now? Bars typically sell for a low price above spot. Are these, uh, what price above spot? Are we talking $20, $30 or something like that or less? I don't know. All right, let's see. AJS says, good luck with those ETFs when the silver bull catches fire. Lazy MFers need to take delivery and responsibility. One day, they'll wish they did. All right. Uh, let's see here. Very good. Okay, yes, as in um, 15 to 40 over spot. Okay, all right, yes. So relatively low margins, but that's typical for bars, right? I mean, bars typically are cheaper. And uh, but all right, very good. Long silver. He uh, I talked to Jane the Swamp, talked to his boy. He said long silver, not gold. I wonder if his name is John by any chance. So that way we could say be Long John Silver and not gold. Yes, indeed. Hello. All right. Uh, Chiefly Chieftain made it to a Sunday night live stream. Nice, indeed. Good to see you. Hello, Med Gas Guy. Good to see you. All right, Terry. Hey, Sal. Uh, physical silver is a great investment if you're into losing your money. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Terry's been brainwashed. Terry's been hashtag brainwashed for Terry. Indeed. Uh, Kuna Coin says, silver can keep falling and I will be there to buy it up. All right, like Pac-Man. That's right. Very good. Thank you. It is very good. It's a super arena. Yes. Very good, thank you. Jan says, Ron Jermaine Jr. Well, there's only one thing to that, and that's hashtag fart. Yes, indeed. There we go. I didn't hashtag the slurp. There's Terry. Eyes wide shut, he says. We have brought Terry in. She's waking up. Wake up with the folders in your cup, Terry. Silver is your hero, Terry. You should sell all your gold and buy nothing but silver. Yes, indeed. And I think you should buy the uh, massive amounts of $500 a pop of the Enhanced Reverse Proof for one ounce. One ounce of silver for 500 bucks. That's where your future is, Terry Rabidoobie. May the Schwartz be with you. I hate these types of analysis because you can pick any asset and Sherry picked the dates and yalla. This asset was the greatest thing since sliced bread. Didn't mention those dates were performed poorly. That's right, exactly. You got to take in an average everything. Uh, you can't handpick dates to fit your agenda. That's exactly right. Good point. Time Lord says, depends on how big your truck is for you humans. All right. All right. I hope we didn't scare off Terry. Did I make Terry mad? Terry, please. Terry, don't be mad at me. Give me a hug, Terry. Ah, yes, indeed. Cliff Native. All right, here we go. All right, hey, hello. She's now she's saying hello to everybody. Jim Farrell says, uh, Time Lord, depends on how big your truck is for humans. That's right. Jim Farrell says, I would highly suggest staying away from paper. 
I do have a, a memory, probably the Hunt Brothers. It was a while ago, but if you had some real money in a jar, you made out very good. Very true. Okay. Okay. Let's see here. My Earp Eagle has 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 shipped. The Eagle has shipped, but hasn't landed. My Earp, my Burp Eagle has shipped. Speeding 108, I'm here just in time to slurp some coffee with you. All right, here we go. We're slurp a little bit. We're missing Barbara Carbone, but she is enjoying her time in Portugal. Yeah, I haven't seen Silver Diva in a long, long time. Barb, though, is in um, Portugal, Portugal, Portugal. Terry is over there. She's here. She's the Silver Queen. She loves silver. She drools over it. Yes, indeed. Uh, Org 8 Bearded really shipped. They gave me a shipping number, but when I go to USPS, it says they haven't picked it up. That's right. Yeah, same here. Second, there doesn't know if she should open or not. I think you should get a, a uh, an x-ray machine, and then you can just x-ray it and see if there's a signature on the COA. I'm going to open mine up, and I'm going to sign the COA myself. Three hundred dollars at the at the Baltimore Coin Show to grade on the spot. Wow, that's insane in the membrane. Whimsy Maker still waffling if I should get the ASE graded. Uh, well, the the uh, the way to answer that is to use Belgium waffles. Um, if you use Belgium waffles, if you eat Belgium waffles, then that means you're not going to grade it. If you eat just regular old waffles like blueberry waffles or with chocolate chips in them, that means you should not get it graded. Yeah, Health Babe's been around, but she's been on, on, on other channels, but I haven't seen her here, but I have seen her comments on other channels. Uh, let's see here. Kay Carlson says, just like they do with concert tickets, they need to have a timer to compete, complete the transaction once it's in the cart. Do not sell my coin if it's in the cart. Yeah, I see what you're saying there, and in theory, I would agree with that. Um, although... The thing, the problem with that is people can really mess with uh, us coin collectors if they know that's happening. Um, people might try that, but I see what you mean. Let's see here. Not that close over here. Not quite that close. Ah, imaging already going for a thousand dollars on eBay. Crazy! Wow, thousand bucks. I haven't checked the listings lately, but in some ways it doesn't surprise me. That's hype. Don't believe the hype, though, folks. Wait a while. It'll come back down. I think the prices will come back down for those. Those prices are crazy. Yes, indeed. Commendable coin. They are crazy. All right. Let's see here. James Bates has made uh, money in silver in the paper market. Very risky sell. Don't really bother with any more. Pretty saturated and unstable. But one thing I always stack is physical gold and silver. Very good. All right. He's been in there. And has decided not to. Is everybody a seller? Low prices mean buy, buy, buy. That's right. Okay, we're gonna get up here. Uh, zero. Uh, how to invest in silver when it's oversold? Zero. He says. That means he is a zero from hero to zero. Salva City dude is over here tripping. I definitely put the pa put the paper with those scam numbers. Where am I? <laughs> this is crazy. Well, more likely they won't answer on a Sunday night anyway. Uh, but if you guide them, just give me some context on what they are. If it's one of those uh, IRS and or um, tech support scammers, more likely we'll get them out of Pakistan or India or something. So they might be, they might answer. Robert, if you think the market in silver is oversold, it's better not to invest in it. I would check the silver to gold ratio and either flip to gold or cash. Well, I think the point is that when it's oversold, that means that um, uh, they're selling up more than they should. That means it's a buyer's market, right? That's how I interpret it. All right, let's see here. Mr. Sting is here. All right. Silver man, silver, says metal bum. There's Pudenda. Maybe we'll get Pudenda pop in here. She says, I'm at 28 to 29% and still buying gold. I stopped buying silver. Okay, there you go, Pudenda. Nice. Thank you. All right. Silver, I, I, buy, I still buy a little silver just to make uh, Terry a little upset. 
Physics, silver bro. Physics. Let's physics. That's right. Physics, physics. Debt collectors. Okay. Like 40 says all is one now. Thank you so much. All is one now. Appreciate the like. They definitely help a lot. And uh, on the Eagle, I received one in hand at the Baltimore Coin Show. Dennis Alexander did. Nice. Congratulations, Dennis. All right. All right. And <laughs> stack more <laughs> silver. All right. There is Alan Gold. That's funny. Uh, Salon, I invest in silver. That's right. Gordon McSweeney, don't put all your eggs in one basket, the man say. That's right. But if that's all you have to carry them in, then you kind of have to put them in one basket or else it might drop and break. You know what I mean? Five nines, that's new to me, says Pamela Rice. Cool. All right, that's right. Don't be an assay. Get with the uh, with the PM program. That's exactly right, Pamela. All right, very good. Yeah, I think everybody got those shipment emails. It's just a notification. Let them know that it's going to probably be shipping soon. doesn't mean that it has actually shipped yet. We can't afford Terra. Yeah, that's right. We cannot afford Terra. Cyber Curtain Twitcher, well, you are here, Cyber CCT. Oh, my goodness. I've got to be up in seven hours, so I had better hit the sack. Have a great night. Thanks, Cyber CCT. I'm sorry I missed you. Good grief. I didn't know. Man, I'm sorry, CCT. Should have acknowledged you. I'm sorry, my, my brother. He's not here. He's been gone. Dang it. All right. Southern Stacker, I don't have the patience to mess around with the 30,000 Eagles ordering process battle. You know, I hear you. I, just, I barely had the patience to do it. I tried. Silver Wolverines did not ship yet. I got a shipping notification, but it doesn't mean it's shipped yet. Cheezer, I got a confirmation email from the U.S. Mint. I'm like you. I'll sit on it for a while and see where it goes. I took quite a few tries and refreshes a score this one. And if I can find this lucky on this year's Minnesota Lottery raffle tickets. There you go. All right. Okay. And he's a little stack. Over the years that he studied, so he cherry picks numbers. And he's talking about the context of 35% of the stock portfolio. I'd rather hear percent of total net worth. A good video. Yes. Yes, indeed. I hear you. I like two ounces of silver, one the best. Yes, I like silver Game of Thrones, eight ounces of thick. And Metallio, man, I want a video. Tricky guy says I was going to send you 50 bucks, you know, just to help you at least a little bit. Uh, but just a moment ago, you said clicking the like button really helps me out a lot. So, oh, dang it, shoot. Well, I must tell you, the uh, $50 would help even more than the like button. But no, that's all right. No, that's all good. Hey, I'm just glad you're here. Um that's the most important thing. You guys are here. I appreciate you. The like button does help. Yes, indeed. All right. Ah, let's see. Silverfish VT. I thought you were going to do an, M an MMA matchup between Silverfish VT and somebody else. Yeah. <laughs> Tricky, send me 50 bucks and I'll ring your bell. Oh, my goodness gracious, Terry. She'll buy silver with it. A silver bell. That's right. And his little stack says, I'll do my little part to increase the physical demand. There you go. That's right. I'm pushing you guys to buy silver. Buy it all up. Buy it all. It's, it's in my best interest that you buy all the silver out there. I want you to go in debt to buy the silver. That's exactly what I want you to do. You know, my minions, I need you to do it. Buy silver. Buy it now. Do it. Do it now. Buy silver. Buy now. Do it. Do it now. Food stamp can't go. No, no, now. Buy a silver. Buy a silver. Buy it right now. You are going to buy it. Buy it some more. Food stamp's going to stay here and tell us some more. Wait, I can't use two words that are exactly the same. That doesn't. That's not really good. Of course, you guys know I'm just kidding, kidding about the buying silver thing, right? <laughs> I was having a little fun with Terry out there. All right. I say 10% in gold is ideal, says Silver Valley Coins and Bullion. All right. Uh, ooh, it doesn't, oh, he's a letter carrier, and he's never going to see that ASC. There you go. All right. All right. So there we go. Silver City's 
he's going to uh, intercept it, interception of the old, <laughs> of the old the thing. All right, very good. Okay, what is a tout? Heard this thing about a tout. No, he ain't. He's a tout. I don't know what a tout is. Anybody know what a tout is? Uh, silver butt pumper. This dude got a silver butt pumper. That means you got injections in your butt. Oh my goodness gracious. Uh, let's see here. Cool Maple, financial experts from the financial banking and insurance and government agencies recommend that you have at least 5 to 10% of your total investment in precious metals. Anything more of that is your personal choice. My opinion is that having more will not necessarily make you financially well off in terms of interest earned. You're just better off. Well, that's right. Uh, gold and silver don't pay dividends. They're not paying you interest. They're simply there as a hedge of protection against an ever-declining dollar. Uh, all right, very good. If you play Sal's intro music backwards, it tells you to buy silver. That's oh, dang it! Don't tell them that, stacking nerd. You know my my ultimate agenda has just been unmasked, just unmasked. All right, very good. Uh, let's see here. Black Silk says Kalonic Stacker taking donations. JJW is taking donations. I've been called out for my music. I've got in subliminal messaging in my music. I'm going to have to go back and delete this portion of the live stream out so no one understands or knows what's happening there. All right. Ah, goodness gracious. <laughs> oh, man. Lovely coin. Love the two ounce rounds. Thanks, Jay Z. Appreciate it. Yeah, I like the two ounce size rounds too. They're cool. All right. Has anybody uh, has anybody um, um, told me what tout means yet? Don't know. Coins A to Z. Silver is a commodity and asset. Hence, it can serve as investment for those who aim to turn profits after it's purchased. Purchased. I'm just into shining, so give me the physical. Me too. I like the physical. Platinum to the moon, says Coin A to Z. Uh, Mason Tricks says deception. I love it. Yes, indeed. We are here to deceive. That's our ultimate, ultimate, ultimate uh, goal here is deception. Just being, trying to be as transparent as I can about the deception on the channel. That's what we're about. Terry, is your channel kid friendly? Um, it is from time to time. Um, so yeah, but sometimes it's not. Sometimes I get a little bit, a little bit adult. Tout men's beggar. Hey Sal, tout men's beggar. Uh, men's beggar. What men? I'm not sure. I understand. I have a sudden urge for popcorn. Did you flash something on the screen? Oh yes, Silver Steeler, you got it. Yes, indeed. Uh, tout attempt to sell something typically by pestering people in an aggressive or bold manner. Jim was touting his, oh, oh, I see, touting his wares. It's just using it as a, as a noun. I see. He's a tout. Okay. I see what you're saying. Okay. He was using it as a noun. Yes, indeed. Uh, who was being accused as being a tout, by the way? I even got, tout means beggar. Okay. All right. All right. That makes sense. All right. He's a tout. French Annie, thank you, Mr. Sting. All right, Prish, now I get it. So who was who was uh, who was accusing who of being a tout? Um, let's see here. Okay, let's see here. I'm a shill, says Henry von Moog. Maybe me for telling everybody to buy silver. Probably that's what it was. In car listening, Bob Austin. Very cool. Nice. Over here, Jimmy Jermaine Stewart. We don't have to take off all our clothes to have a good time. No, no, no. Trout, yeah, there you go. Let's go tout fishing. That's right. There you go, Donald New Mexico. Let's go tout fishing because we don't have to throw the line in to catch a big fish. Whoa, no. No mad vagabond. Call me what you will, says Wolfie. Jared W3, as far as the industrial electronics market, silver better watch out for graphene. You know, I've talked about that actually. I think we have to a ways to go before we have to worry about graphene. Um, yes, indeed. According to the video, uh, some of the research I've done. But anyways, uh, let's see here. Uh, 
Oh, wow. Mason Trick says the missing trillion from the Pentagon have showed up in YouTube's wallet. December 10th is going to break a lot of hearts. Round sight. Uh, channels will be taken down in mass. That's interesting. Uh, encouraging people to consider precious metals as part of their portfolio. How dare you offer good advice? Shame on me. I'm inquiring my, do I have a real job? Inquiring minds want to know. Yes, yes. Believe it or not, I do have a real job. As much time as I spend on YouTube, uh, I have to work first. My day job. You know how people tell me not to quit my day job when I sing? Same thing for videos, too, because some of my videos are kind of corny and cheesy. Uh, with blackjack and hookers. There you go. We'll do it, Wolfie. All right. Tout taint. Yes, that's right. Tout your taint, says Terry. Now it's not a, a kid-friendly channel now anymore since we're touting our taints, everybody. Stacking Nerd is a fake job. These sysops, that's what they do, right? Silver tube. That's right, exactly. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Colonic Stacker, please rate Cannibal, Cor Cannibal, Cor Cannibal Corpse guitars. Pat O'Brien, very good guitar player. He actually played for Nevermore for a, a time as well, too. Great guitar player, definitely. All right. As a touring guitarist, by the way, not a recording guitarist. Pat O'Brien. All right. Taint worth it. It just taint worth it. Alan, 3189, 35% is ridiculous. 10% is more than enough. If you did 35% over the past three years, you lost so much money and opportunity costs from not being in the stock market and would uh, make your head spin. I feel sorry for people who aren't investing in stocks today because they really missed out on the home. Huge, huge gains. Um, and yes, that's for investment. Um, I think the 35% that he was talking about was over a longer span of time, not just three years, but I digress. And if you want to take a risk in the stock market, then you're right, Alan. Uh, no question. And I don't have anything with people risking their money in different place. It can pay off big. And most people know what they're doing in there. But anyways, all right. Uh, all right, there we go. There we go. All right, tricky guy is 75, but he identifies as a 22-year-old. This is why he gets all the babes here. Not bragging, it's a fact. There you go. Silver Game of Thrones is in. He drops in an H. All right. Uh, let's see here. Uh, K.O. Minginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginginging
Yes, indeed. Uh, I, I, wants me to do some real research. Well, I want you to email me, Alan. Um, I want you to do the research for me and send it to me to my inbox, please. Uh, let's see here. United States limited edition 2019 silver proof set. I don't believe in those. Ever since those things came out, those limited edition proof sets, I haven't bought a single one of them. All it is is the same coins and different packaging for a lot more money. You're paying for packaging there. They're not going to, they're dead. It's a, it's as close a thing to a scam as one can get to on the, on, from the United States men. Not saying the U.S. men are scamming people because they know what they're getting into when they buy those things, but yes, indeed. All right. I want Alan Gold to do all the dirty work for me, Terry. That's what I want to do. That's what I want to do. Right, Vogus, I like that we must be the res residents and buy, buy, buy when it's cheap. I think he meant to say resistance. Yes, we got to be the resistance. All is one now speaks. He said, would you lose all your videos if you two shut down your channel? Um, <clears throat> well, if they shut it down, uh, does that mean that the videos would disappear too? Or would it just mean they're offline? I don't know. I don't have them saved, by the way. I don't have them saved anywhere. That's a lot of content. I've got a lot of content. Like 50. Uh, thank you, Eddie's little stack. Appreciate you. All right. Have a good night. Time to buy a Blu-ray burner. Start downloading all your videos. Yeah. Well, the thing is, a lot of them are kind of, you know, uh, I only have a few what I call legacy videos. And there's timeless videos. Uh, oh, of your lost channel, 24 hours. There needs to be one button. Download all. So when will silver break twenty dollars? Good, good question. Game of Silver Game of Thrones. My guess is it's not going to be until next year, if next year. Um, I think it's going to be below twenty. Netflix deleted everyone's uh, movie review several years back. Wow, that is crazy. Carl Johnston, I'm proud of my Senator uh, Crapo. He has helped me directly as well. He's a good senator, in my opinion. All right, very good. Okay, nice to hear. 90% in growing is what IB12541's portfolio is on gold. All right. Mason Tricks, no, they're going to take it all down. However, I do not know that yours are controversial. You read articles, very little opinion. I have opinion on them, too. Um, I have, in fact, my opinion is in every video I do, I do insert my opinion in there too. Uh, let's see here. All right. Later, dude. Who's leaving? Who's leaving? Salivate folders, Christmas morning, coffee, dark roast. Someone's leaving. Oh, Salva City, dude. Okay. Take care. Salva City, dude. Appreciate you coming by. Definitely. I'm going down. Terry says, dang. Who else is leaving? Let's see here. Why am I going down? Uh, let's see. Oh, my channel is going down. Archive my videos on BitChute. Uh, let's see here. All right, let's take a look at the markets. The markets are, are up. Look at that, folks. Come on. All right, the markets are up a little bit. We've got gold up 90 cents. Silver's up three cents. Platinum and platinum are up a dollar. So a light little movement upwards in the upwards trajectory. All right, very good. All right, where are we at back here? Okay, Nevermore drummer Van Williams could be put through a meat grinder and served in Burger King Whoppers, and he can still outplay Danish burglar Lars <laughs> Ulrich. All right. Well, I bet you, though, I'd be willing to bet someone's bottom dollar, not necessarily yours, Kalonic Stacker, but I still think that Lars Ulrich could beat Van Williams in a tennis match. Okay, all right. I, I still, I still think that uh, that is the case. But actually, Van Williams is a very good drummer. Sadly, he had a huge falling out with uh, World Dane, and that's one reason why Nevermore disbanded. And what happened is Jeff Loomis, who, by the way, when am I going to get an MMA matchup with Jeff Loomis versus anybody? Come on, Kalonic Stacker. Save it for the next stream, though. 
But remember Jeff Loomis, awesome guitar player. Anyways, Van Williams uh, basically took um, uh, Jeff Loomis with him. Jeff Loomis went on to play in Arch Enemy, just so you know. All right, uh, Mr. Obvious. Uh, let's see here. Wait a second. What's happening to my... Obvious had to download all of his band or suppress videos over to BitChute. Okay, wow. Interesting. Um, yeah, I'll have to check out BitChute. I hope it doesn't come to that. We'll see what happens. YouTube. Mason Trick said something about December 10th. So Belang P posted a video about this some time ago. I must have missed it or if I saw it, I forgot about it. But check out Belang P's. I keep on forgetting if this G is hard or not. That's what she said. Jay Silver Bravo. Hello to you, Jay Silver Bravo. Welcome, my friend. Barbara Carbone is in an immigration detention center, and they don't believe she's an American citizen. Her views are too liberal. She could be host on The View. Yes, she could. But she's probably she's more polite than the host on The View. There's no question about that. I'd be fine with her. But bit shoot cornhole. There you go. But shoot cornhole, says Terry. Hmm. Silver Game of Thrones actually bought a ton of gold yesterday. Man, it's a little too many adverts. Hey, all you got to do is skip them. That's all you got to do is skip them. All right. Sounds like a big number. All right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, some people made a good point, you know, compared to your net worth or to your investment or investment holdings. All right. Very good. Silver so Wolverine says... I agree. I do not want paper silver, only physical for me. Although I do understand the fact that you can make money off the paper if you time it correctly. That's right. In fact, you can also trade the ratio and play in that market too. Someone wrote a book about that. It doesn't come around as much anymore. Sometimes I want to be nice and watch an ad. Then there's a secondary ad. Yes. Yes, indeed. Well, you can um, uh, you can skip one or the other, you know. But yes, indeed. I never skip the ads. But thanks, Donald. They actually do help. I mean, that's one way you can help creators like us that spend time for videos um, uh, without sending money. If you watch the ads or or um, or click on an ad, if you're only if you're interested in the ad, you know what I'm saying. But thanks, guys, I appreciate you. Skip the video and watch the ads. There he is down in New Mexico. That's funny. Only watch the ads. His native stacker. All right, YouTube has got woke and is going broke. Oh my goodness, Carl Yushanka, that's right. Carl Yushanka uh, could uh, be in a box full of mustard and orange juice and still outplay uh, Lars Ulrich, the Danish Viking. Mason Trigg, December 10th, anything they deem unworthy gets the channel delete. It will be an epic thrashing of the site, clearing the way for billionaires' race. Interesting. Uh, man. Why does Sal say cornhole, but he don't read a comment with the words crap in it? Just asking. Um, hey, bud, watch your cornhole. Because I guess it's I guess that's not considered really that dirty of a word. Is I know what, what it means. It means butthole. Crap sounds better than the S-H-I-T. You know what I mean? I don't know. For some reason, I have trouble with that word, saying that word. I apologize, tricky guy. It's a very odd, strange. It, okay, Terry wants me to say it. Here we go. I'll even type it. It. Oh, wait. It. There it is. It. They're happy. Are you happy? Are you happy, Terry? I said it. I said it. All right. Bunghole equals butthole. That's right. Cornhole. What is a cornhole? Bunghole. Isn't that the same thing, JW? I don't know. Uh, watch your cornhole, watch your bunghole. I tried. That's what they said in an office space, right? Watch your bunghole, man. Portfolio charts: uh, thirty percent gold, sixty-five total stock market, seven point one average return, twelve point five standard deviation, lost money twenty-seven percent, nine fifty percent gold. Second option: you're more likely the same average return, diversified, pulling to smaller downtrend periods. I feel better safe in the second market personally. Now, how's that for butchering a comment, tricky guy? Was that classy or what? Did I do a good job? With I hope Mal. No offense, Mal. I'm just trying to get to that pretty quickly. And I wanted to impress I wanted to impress um, um, Tricky Guy with that. Let me get to here. All right. We can't call Indonesia or else we would call Indonesia. He's got his spam, Philip Coin, 1740. If I want to sell it, how much is the coin? Yes, indeed. I don't know. I'm going to say it's seven 
at seven. All right, it's just seven, whatever your currency is in, in Indonesia. All right, very good. Uh, Adrian, I'm seriously considering selling 10 ounces soon to buy some Bitcoin before the upcoming uh, happening. That would lower my gold position by 50%. I'm on the fence right now. Any advice? I'm hoping to convert into more gold if history repeats and the expected massive gains from B Bitcoin. I think you're making a gamble there, Adrian. Um, and uh, I wouldn't do it if I were you, but I'm very risk averse. And besides, I like the shiny, as coins uh, A to Z says. So I like my gold. Don't want to part from it. You know what I'm saying? All right. Silver Game of Thrones also collects spiders. Sweet. Mostly Australian spiders, but they have nice recently. Now, are they, uh, so you get those things, um, you know, stuffed or what have you? Uh, how do you preserve the spiders to keep them uh, from going bad? Or how do you catch them? Do you, can you buy them like in a little, you know what I mean? Uh, Silver Wolverine. That's awesome. You're going to break it out of the card. Actually, I already did. I didn't have to break it. I just unscrew it. I tried to get that. that uh, I was going to try to get that little spot off of that silver wolverine, but I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I, I didn't want to because it's such soft gold. I was afraid it's going to take a little Brillo pad and rub it out. Rub it, rub it, rub it right out. No, I'm kidding. All right. Pesudity. I hope uh, if and when people look into Pinehurst coins, as done with the ASC and enhanced reverse proof or released on eBay, there's no longer purchase from them or any of the PM means. I know this is America and the free markets, but they have purchased up hundreds of the lower price listing on eBay and set the price at 650 So this is kind of like using their resources to create a monopoly. This is a good strategy that guarantees them profit, but at what expense to the community? Well, but the thing is, is Sudati, uh, thank you for your comment. They're taking a huge risk in doing that. Um, they're clever, but they don't have a monopoly because other people are doing it. See, the thing is, if they're buying the lower listings on eBay, let's say they bought them at $300, right? They first have to make sure that coin is procured to get them and to sell them at $650. Uh, that may not be able to do it. It's a risk for them. It's a risk uh, that may not pay off. All right, let's see here. All right, and Butchard says T on this. That makes perfect sense. There's only one logical response to that a quote, to that comment, and that is, well, of course, seven. If it's one per household, how is this possible? Well, um, they get other people ordering for them and the like, and that's probably what happened there. Other people in this community have found ways to get more than one of those things. Mm. Uh, still sorrow. I love my silver and have a gold position. I'm thinking a moving position of my silver, but not all. Judging as the silver to platinum ratio is about 52 to 1, what we all wish the gold ratio was, and consider myself making the move. Silver to platinum and palladium is expensive, so maybe that would move back to platinum, which is why they want palladium. It's an industrial metal years ago. The man will rise for palladium as well as the price. Then move back to platinum, back to gold, as with the help of the beloved silver position. Might be smart. Time will tell. I'm going to have a video coming very soon about platinum versus palladium. You want to watch out for that one still, Sorrow, that answers some of this question. Medial Man, wasn't the spot just some dirt in the inside the capsule? I could see its reflection on the coin. Actually, it was on the coin itself. I took the little screw off, or the one part of the capsule, you can take it out. It was on the coin. I did not want to risk scratching the coin, so I left it there. Uh, it must be a copper spot from the dye, is my guess. Pamela Rice is here. Hello, Pamela Rice. Good to see you. Yes, she's here. A slurp in her honor. The last slip of coffee. Slurp of coffee. Mm. All right, 45 degrees out. Not bad. Got to go to Walmart. Grab some tie on the way back. I thought for a second you were um, Frederick Brandt. You know, he talks about his Thai girl, so... You know, but anyways, all right. And I think it's talking about Thai food, not some Thai teenage chick. All right, let's slurp some. Uh, we're going to get a little water in here. You're going to hear the. I'm shaking the bottle for effect. I normally wouldn't do that, but you guys are here. I've got to do something to try to impress you people. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I'm something. 
All right. Tricky guy is cool. Yes, he sure is. Tricky guy is the band, is the man. He is the man. Eduardo Diaz, waiting for you to comment on my message about the enhanced silver eagle. All right, let me see. We'll get up to it here, hopefully here soon. Uh, Doctor Who says first, so maybe we'll get to it. Stay tuned, Eduardo. We're, we're hopefully getting there. Get the uh, ERP ASE. That's right. That's what we did. We did that, Doctor Who. I don't know if you missed that video, but I did get it. A slurp stock. By Metallic. We still accept you. I'm actually pan metallic, but yes, I mostly identify as by Metallic. Yes, indeed. Thank you, Silver Bull. Uh, this is a legacy video, by the way. This is a video that I hope will continue to garner views. I think it's a. Um, Research. I hope you guys will watch this one. A brief history of gold and silver in the U.S. It's a beautiful walk in liberty. Thank you, Silver Bull, AG47. Appreciate it. Food Sam says hello. Thanks, everyone. Appreciate it. We're working our way up here. All right. Okay. Uh, dang it. Dr. Who, he's number five. Silver Honda was, who is now giving his patients their medication. All right, this is running a little bit slow. We might have to refresh these comments here so we can work a little faster and get to them quicker because we're going to get to Eduardo's. If he responded in the last five hours. Oh, thank you, AR. Lizel Gampaya, I have eight old eight reales Spain coin. How much do I want to sell it? Seven. <clears throat> I don't know, Liaz. I'd have to see the condition of it. All depends on the condition, Liaz. All depends on the condition. I support bimetallic community and all their alloyed alloys, allies, alloyed allies. Say that five times fast, Tribune. Very good. Hello, Ozzy Alchemist. Good to see you. Ozzy is here. Eli says, thank you for the great lunchtime video. Well, thank you, Eli. Appreciate you watching. I'm hoping this video gets more views. I've, you know, I'm, okay, Mr. Octopus, thank you for so much for popping in. Thank you for being here. All right. Brady Carpenter says the spinning wheel of hypnosis. Must buy silver. Must buy gold. Zombie. Walk to local coin shop. There's another. Yes. Uh, subliminal messaging in that video. That's right, Brady. I have eight old. have old coin eight realis. Yes, we answered that already. I guess he's looking at another, another video. That's probably a nice coin, but unless I can see the condition of it, I can't tell you. Um. Uh, let's see here. Look at the cat hair. Yes, I wanted to let you guys know that I know there's cat hair there. Should I love my own comment? Press one if I should love my own comment. No, I don't want to do that. Press two if I shouldn't. I shouldn't do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to heart my own comment. Should I thumb it down? I don't know. Jeffrey Sparks. So is gold overpriced every time the price of gold is 16 times the price of silver? Or is it underpriced every time it's less than 16 times the bottom price of gold? Silver and gold are treasure that gives us lots of pleasure. There you go. Exactly. Jeffrey Spark. Um, I, I don't think we should pay attention to the old. That was when the price was fixed. The gold to silver ratio was fixed. All right. Stacking Nerd says I should one. I should do it. Everybody's saying one. So maybe I'll heart my own comment. I don't want to toot my own horn. Hey, at least I'm not tooting my own horn. I'm just I'm just hearting my own comment. There we go. It doesn't mean I'm tooting my own horn because I don't have a horn here. That would be very horny of me. Epstein was not. Epstein did not kill himself. That's right. George Yost agree. Go to the debt clock and see the insane rate that China and central banks buy gold. Yes, indeed. They're buying a lot of it. No question about that. Right? Very good. Uh, uh, let's see here. Okay, so just for silver, I love your turntable of goodness, Sal. I too am Pam Metal, and I love to touch my junk. There you go, junk silver. That is, get your mind out of the gutter. Great info, Sal. I hope you're well, my friend. Dang, I read that last comment. I was thinking of something else. Oh man, thank you, Seduced. You're awesome. Okay, let's see here. Silver so Honda, great video. I love the history lesson. I didn't realize how much history I didn't know. Thank you so much for doing this video. I was hoping to see Kitty at the end. Yes, I did not put the Kitty at the end. I'm sorry, my friend. Thank you, Indiana Jones. I think your cat drives with the precious metal carousel, too. Thank you for the good information. Yes, indeed. There's cat hair everywhere around here. You can't escape it, no matter what. I haven't wiped that thing off before doing it. That's what she said. 
Uh, George S. the Greek was the ratio of 16 to 1 gold worldwide or only in America? I think it was um, pretty much worldwide, but I think, you know, America kind of kept to it there. Kind of a fixed ratio. Mark B., Lots of good info, Uncle Sal. One day I will own a double eagle like you have. Very nice. Yes, I hope you can get one soon. You'll really love it. All right. Very good. Learn nothing, lost everything, including your time. Let's see here. Epstein died himself. All right. That's from Alan Gold. All right. Let's see here. Uh, Jay Silver Bravo says, love the awesome video, Uncle Sal. Well, thank you, Jay Silver Bravo. We're moving our way up. I think I'm going to refresh this page here after this next one and so it works faster so we can get through these a little quicker. Let's get Gregorio's 2010 to quit smoking. Use some money, uh, that money to buy silver. Great job. It's got a thousand ounces of silver so far. Nice. Very cool. Good job. Quit smoking, buy silver. Much healthier for you for sure. Hello, Graham Stacker. Very much. Very appreciate that. He comes in with the boom with the super chat five dollars. Thank you so much. He's waving hello to all. Hello to all of us. Thank you, my friend. Very nice of you, sir. Appreciate that. Okay. All right. Let's let's refresh this comment here. Refresh this page so we can go through these. Because Eduardo apparently had made a comment, and I want to respond to it. Let's get down here to this thing. Come on. Uh, where are we at? South Florida, the kitties, and winter is coming. I'm hungry. I need us to eat. I need to eat. Especially that fat one was deliciosus. I had to get me a fat cat one. All right. Jared W3, I know it's only a base metal, and it's only about 200, 250 per pound, but copper has been used as currency and added to silver to gold coins to strengthen it. Just a thought. That's exactly right. I even mentioned copper briefly in this video. By the way, in my, cop in my video called Why I Love Copper, I talked about how copper is the only metal that is still being used as money and currency. Yes, copper is money, folks. That's right. All right. What does salivate metal eat? I eat nothing tonight, but I do eat uh, cookies. I eat hamburgers. I eat pizza. I eat uh, turkey. I eat spinach. I eat uh, carrots. I eat uh, some time to time. I've been known to eat some broccoli, chopping broccoli, chopping broccoli, chopping broccoli, chopping, chopping broccoli. All right. I love the uh, Fassie on the back side of the Merc 9. I do, too. I think it's a great design. Michael Martin. Doesn't mean we're fascist in any way. Low blood pressure says, thanks for the honoring the American gold and silver mintages. Yes, indeed. Thank you, sir. Low blood pressure. Appreciate that. Time to go. He is going crazy. Oh, my goodness. Silver Game of Thrones. You taking off? Uh, let's see here. Appreciate you being here. All right. Okay, Super U68, I can't stop watching the metals rotate. I'll need to rewatch and listen to what you say later. Oh, well, thank you, Super U68. Mesmerizing. Thank you so much. All right. Uh, SM, what is your ration between gold and premier silver, generic silver? I really don't have a ratio or a ration of that. I don't really keep up with... Um, uh, I just buy what I like typically, but I am trying to increase my gold holdings and, per, and percentage to the other stuff. But I do have a lot more premium silver than generic silver. There's no question. An unusual amount because I consider myself more of a collector than a stacker. Uh, but with that being said, every collector piece that I do have is an ounce of silver. Uh, I may have paid a hefty premium for it, but... I know that it's not going to lose its intrinsic value in the long run, in the worst case scenario. You know what I'm saying? Nothing but the truth and love. In a world of global collapse, is the world, is a world global collapse inevitable? No. Would a thousand ounces of silver be good enough to protect a family? I think it would, but I don't think a global collapse is inevitable. I think they can still turn the ship around. And mainly it's going to be us that does it, and especially if we work out trade deals with, with China and other nations. I think it's going to help everybody uh, in the long run. But I do think we will have another recession coming uh, as to the severity of which I don't know. All right. Now, this person on my understanding $918 silver wrote this number here. 
Well, there's only one logical response to that. You know what I'm saying? And that's that. I have no clue why people make nonsensical comments like this. It just makes no sense. What kind of bait do we use to lure Terry 79? Oh, there's only one type of bait. Shiny silver. She loves it. Oh, yeah. I'm Buck is here. In fact, it was high premium silver. Really nice proof. Like, I mean, just shiny stuff that's over $100 per ounce. That's the kind of stuff she loves. You get her that, she's going to just, I mean, oh, yeah. Don't get her panties up in a bunch. She loves it. She'll go wild like an animal over that stuff. Wild and crazy. Varun Coomer. Thick. I like that. Oh, yeah. Nice and thick. The thickest silver round metal in the world. All right. Larry Whittington. How's it going, Mr. Sal? About the topic. It's about the type of metals and even active modern metal coins. And even now, some are extremely difficult to find. Is there an actual circulation or safe condition keeping at the glance? I'm going to give discussion for her. Yeah. No, they're not in circulation. Um, and but you know I, I did a series on silver and SHTF that if we did come across a really horrible situation where literally the crap hit the fan, silver would be utilized, and uh, I need to find it in circulation again. Very good. All right, Chuck and Plata, sells wheel of fortune. You have a real merry-go-round. Well, thank you. Appreciate that, Chuck and Plata. Should have merry-go-round music going in there. All right. Acceleration rules. Go Browns. All right. Very good. <laughs> Smash the Steelers. That's exactly what happened, isn't it? Oh, my gosh. Beautiful displays. This metal bum. Thank you, sir. Pan metallic. I like. I do like platinum, too. At some point, I'd like to get into platinum. Palladium. But for now, 95% gold, silver, money. Agree. Great thoughts. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. All right. Very good. Uh, keep stacking, keep saving for the future. Big slurp. All right. Thank you, sir. Is Eduardo still here? There, Barbara Carbone is here. Barbara Carbone, yes. Are you coming to us from uh, Portugal late at night? Or are you back in Long Island? Okay, Ed, Ed, um, Eduardo is still here. Good to see Barbara, yes. Uh, before Wi-Fi died. Hey, thank you so much. I was just wondering. I was thinking. I wonder if, uh, if if Barbara's thinking of us here on her vacation. Thank you so much. Good to see you, Barbara. I hope you're having a good time in Lisbon, Portugal. Very cool. Does that mean you're Lisbonian? Lisbian? Does that mean Barbara Carbone is a lesbian? <laughs> hey, um, uh, can you pick me up some um, some foreign currency from there? I don't know if you know this or not, but I collect coins. And all right, a silver cruise. There we go. Yes, indeed. Oh, man. Oh, man. Well, we're glad. Hey, I'm glad you're here, too, Pamela. We love you. Pamela Rice is the bomb. She's awesome. Miss you, Barbara. All right. She's a lesbian. All right. Very good. Yeah. All right. Nice. Enjoy your time. When do you come back, Barbara? Uh, let's see here. Gorgeous spinning display. Thanks, Pamela Rice. You're awesome. We're glad Pamela Rice is here, too. Yes, indeed. Bob, 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 Ann. Bob, 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 Ann. Thanks, Barbara. You're awesome. She got some coins for me. All right. You are awesome. I'm going to get you some Scottish monies next year, whatever they are, use over there. Oh, hey, thanks, uh, Wolfie. Some Scottish, some Scottish. He's going to Scotland. Dude, it would be fun to see his, some of his, if he does videos over there. That'd be awesome. So she comes in tomorrow, lands at JFK at 2.45 p.m. Sweet. Hoping to get, don't get too jet lag, but boy, that's going to be cool. I hope you got some pictures. I'd love to see some pictures. All right. All right. Oh, man. Barbara brings back a boy toy. Dark and handsome. Red bedroom eyes. Then she's not going to be a Lisbon. Lisbonium. Freaking tout. Sal, we're gonna get one of those spinning discs. You can find them. Uh, you can find them uh, Amazon or you know what I'm saying in the Amazon. I mean, literally in the rainforest in Brazil, in the Amazonian rainforest, deep in the heart of Brazil, around midway up river stream and on Amazon. That's right. Beautiful country. Very cool. Nice. All right. Good video and thanks. Yes, I'm begging. I'm begging you to beg me. 
All right. I'm touting it. I'm touting it. All right. Imagine Wolf. Imagine Wolf Van Sachs in Scotland with a uh, with a mask on and lock. He's gonna scare away the Loch Ness monster. He's gonna go. He's gonna see it, and then the Loch Ness is gonna turn over his way and just whoop, whoop. <laughs> There's a wolf. The wolf. The wolf. The wolf is on fire. All right. <laughs> it's a trap. Yeah, if we go to meet Barbara and JFK, the RS will be waiting there for me. It's a trap. Mike Miller says safe travels. Very cool. All right. Yes, indeed. Good to see you, Mike. Wonderful, says Super Arena. All right. Uh, I'm wide awake, so I was ab about to sign on. Nice. Cool, Barbara. Mr. Octopus says silver pretty much maintained its value versus inflation. But you look further than the purchasing power we have on silver. 1920 medium wage around 7K. 1990 was around 30K. 1920 the ounce of silver was 132. It was around 540 in 1990. And now the proof is fully made. You can you can buy pretty much the same amount of silver with an average wage 100 years ago. So yes, it will maintain its purchasing power versus inflation. will make you more wealthy the longer you hold it, the better the profit. That's right. And I even posted a video about that. The silver proves its worth with a 100-year chart on macro chance. So thanks, Mr. Octopus. Nothing but the love, truth and love. If you uh, bought a house and the banks go bankrupt, the world economic clash, do you still have to pay back the money you borrowed? Do you still pay taxes or freeze? What happens in the house? We, if we in Zimbabwe when the dollar got devalued, does that mean I can pay off a house with a single million dollar note and days worth pay? Yeah, that's a good question. I would ma imagine so. But that time, if it got to that bad, probably the banks would collapse. Who knows what would happen? Crazy. All right. Still getting up there to Eduardo's comment here. I hope he's still with us. Saw that one too. Be nice if he all mentioned how much of silver, but you say we are happy. But you said so, so we are happy. Very good. All right. Yes, if I say so, then I want you just to be happy about that. Exactly right. I'm just kidding. All right. Make America great again. Yes, 50 minute video and three ads. That's right. That's typically the amount. That's right. And all you got to do is skip them. Make America great again and skip the ads if you don't want to watch them. Jeff Stanley, don't miss out on another hot mint product. What I learned. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Don't sell it to a dealer. Sell it to a collector that really wants it for their collection. The dealers are why the site was jammed up using their proxy buyers. All right. Very good. Okay. All right. Eduardo is still here. Good. We're going to get up to his comment here, hopefully. Although I don't know if I saw it. I agree with Silver Honda. We need to see more of the soft and cuddly kitties. Yes, indeed. I'll, I got some other footage here recently, so I might put them in there. Mr. Old Fang is here. Good to see you. Great video, my friend. Says Wayne Stewart. Nice. Thank you. As we plug away here. Silver Surfer. Steeler. I will continue to use silver and gold as a hedge against fiat currency. Anytime changing paper from precious metals a win in my book. One day the U.S. debt will be due. One day. Nice video. Thank you. And that's the thing. Will it be due? It seems like they put it off for so long. It's crazy. I'm beginning to wonder. I think they're going to reset it all. Uh, I don't know how they'll do it, but I don't know. It seems like it's more likely that they're going to reset the debt than to actually pay it off. I'm into aluminum, glass, glass bottles of beer. I prefer... Octa Lieber Augenstein says over here. Yes, indeed. Thank you, sir. Love the two ounce St. Uh, Gons and Talio. I have some of those too. Nice coin selection on the plate. Well, thank you, Lamar. I love the St. Um, Intaglio silver two ounces. I'd love to get the gold version too, by the way. Smiling face. Isaac got the, uh, the sarcasm in this video. Thank you. Greetings, says Richard C. On this one, we're moving fast. Eduardo, hang with me here. Um, trying to see here. All right, Silver Game of Thrones says silver is the way to go. Just keep stacking like and like what you are doing. One day you'll be rewarded. The global elite can't handle the price. For some reason, buy some time not handle it forever. One day the debt will all pay for premium will crash. Real assets like PM will spike like crazy. And when it happens, you need to ask yourself, and which side do you want? If they spot price, will relevant be? Yes, indeed. All right, stack on is the message of that comment. Silver Bridges, great educational video, brother, great spinning wheel. I do think it's important to also have a stack of cash, to be honest. Yes, I agree. I totally agree with that, Silver Bridges. Well said. New currency will be food stamps. There you go. Exactly. All right. Uh, Timothy Max says, silver fills the cracks that gold has, and copper fills the holes that silver leaves, which makes the financial system more stable. Silver is an asset because of all the things it can be used for, but gold is a commodity because it is has uh, way less uses. Um, Yes, indeed. Well, a commodity also has uses, too. Usually, most commodities 
David, thanks, Timothy Mac. Just a matter of semantics there. Eli says, I'm wondering how the criminal and civil cases against JPM in December will affect the price of tip. Good point. All right. Good point. Uh, just add silver says, if I contribute at the 5% company match, my floater will have recently in my funds for 50-50 mutual bond rate and see a crash on the horizon. After my monthly bills, I keep 20% cash emergency fund and the other 80% metals. Good thinking. Good to have a cash uh, or money in the bank. I agree. Regarding 623, the free silver movement, William Jennings Bryan were allegorized in the story, The Wonderful Wizard of Oz. Ah, yes, I've heard about that. Yes, indeed. Thank you, Jade. All right. Down in New Mexico, this is a nice tray of gold and silver you have there invested in. Thank you so much. Ozzy, if SHD hits foreign debt market, talk to Oz, and we are paying back half debt and rest forgiven and continued military support. Interesting. Okay. All right. Uh, Bob the Monk says, I currently have 6.75 ounces of gold, but my entire uh, portfolio is about 22, 23% in silver. Okay. Thank you, Bob the Monk. All right. Very good. I just realized I am by this medium man. Yes, indeed. He's by two He likes gold and silver. All right. I am too. I am by and proud of it. Am I the only person who is impressed how the coins managed to stay put for the entirety of the video? Well, stacking there, I actually had to be strategic in that. You'll notice the coins that are propping up uh, them in this video, in this thumbnail. You can even see it. I did use other coins to prop those that are standing up. Excuse me for the hiccup here. Just add silvers here. Hello. Do I have any Brazilian coins? Yes, I do, Eduardo. I've got a couple of those, actually. I do have some Brazilian coins, not of precious metal variety, though. Nuclear war for president was a druggy loser like Hunter Biden. The W will do worse than for the S. H.W. Bush. So he was not a Bush fan. Mr. Sting is not a Bush fan. Okay. All right, Chief of Chieftain and Salah showing off his PMs in a stack again. Yes, indeed. All right. I think we're getting close to the top, so you must have just commented, uh, Eduardo, because I'm not seeing it yet. I think if you're a stack, you should have more gold and silver. Remember that gold has a fixed price until the end of the gold center. After that, gold shot up in price over years. So what we have now, I'm not an economist. That's right. Silver was fixed. Uh, or gold had a fixed price. That's right. And the ratio was fixed, too. Buffalo Bullion says, I was watching the live stream. I'm in bed. By the time uh, you read this. Yes. Okay. Well, good night, Buffalo Bullion. Appreciate you coming by. Bob T says, no sensible person can invest in these markets for two reasons. The U.S. finances have gone dark with the FASB and corruption of rampant. The credit markets have no credit with rural economies, valuations, driven further the debt the trading. The markets do national debt. We are in the winter of the end. The bank credit cycle of the financial system is massively indebted or leveraged. I think we get the gist there. Yeah. And we're in trouble. We are definitely in trouble. Um, and, uh, but we'll see here. Stay liquid by holding cash. Exactly. Stay long-term as you hold with savings and thing there. So yes, thanks, Bob T. Appreciate it. Kevin Miller, Gavin, did you see that the 2019 has reverse silver pickle was selling for 1915 MS70 PCGS case? Crazy. Insane. The membrane. They haven't even been shipped out yet. They're already, already, uh, promising an MS70. It's going from $1,950. Insane. The membrane. Uh, uh, let's see here. Will coins still have numismatic value in SHTF? No, they will not. They will have no. Forget about numismatic value in an SHTF scenario, anything. They will not have numismatic value. I talk about that, I think, at some point in my series, Silver and SHTF. All right, Eduardo, no comment from you. I didn't see the comment. It's not there. I'm refreshing again. Kevin R says, I always wonder where the 16 to $1 to 20 came from. That makes sense. Thank you, Kevin R. I appreciate that. So, Eduardo, I would rush through that to try to find your comment, but I didn't see it. And it's not my spam, so you didn't comment on there. Although if you did, I don't remember it. Let's see here. Let's look at the markets here. All right, the market is open right now. Gold is down 0.02%. That's a 30 cent drop in gold. So far, and silver is down one cent. Platinum is flat, and palladium is up four bucks. All right, let's see here. Bob the Monk. Yeah, unlike Alan Gold, he leaves without saying good night. Bye bye. Thanks, Bob the Monk. I appreciate you coming in, my friend. Thank you for saying good night. I appreciate it. Alan Gold is just too rude. He doesn't say goodbye, and it gets me butt hurt. It gets my panties all up in a bunch when Alan Gold doesn't say good night. Uh, all right. 
Okay, Wi-Fi is in and out. The Barbara Carbone is sticking with us here. I appreciate you. That's so cool. I appreciate it. I'm glad you had a great time, Barbara. That is awesome. Yeah. Maybe she'll, uh, maybe she'll post a video of her trip with the pictures. That'd be cool. Uh, let's see here. Let's see here. Okay, where are we at? Yeah, if, if there's an SHTF, if, if the economy collapses, the dollar collapses, and we're in SHTF, those 2019 enhanced reverse proof uh, coins are going to be spending. That's just going to be an ounce of silver. There's going to be junk. It's going to be in the junk silver bin. All right. <laughs> Let's see here. Mm. Mm. Ah. Where are we at? Okay, we've caught up in all the comments. Eduardo. I no comment from Eduardo. I don't know. I don't know where your comment went, Eduardo. Are you still here, Eduardo? Let's see here. Let's see. Where are we at? All right, all right. Buffalo Bullion is we just said good night to you, Buffalo Bullion. He's still awake. My comment was the limit on the enhanced was one per household. Uh, how did eBay sold over 200? Um, likely they had their employees and other people, family members of employees got it. Um, Eduardo, yeah. I, there's some people in this community that got like two or three. Um, and probably uh, they had some people at the uh, Baltimore Coin Show. And uh, so, yeah. Let's see here. All right. Uh, I think platinum is a steal. I'm trading in some silver for it. All right. See, Gavin managed to get two. And I know other people that have family members that got like three. I almost got one of my coworkers to get one for me. But he was like, Psh. he was like, Psh. All right, Mark B and Miss Carbone have a thing going on. Oh man, I'm jealous. Over here, Barbara Carbone, Americans are not entitled to entitlements. Do you have to be foreign to pay immigration card at the checkpoint? Let's see here, platinum to the moon. Yes, indeed. But good question, Eduardo. Very good question, Eduardo Diaz. Yes, indeed. Let's take a look at the markets again before we go. Before I give you the bum rush, is is um, I don't know, is uh. Donald New Mexico still here. We can't give him the bum rush if he's not here. All right. Yes, JW, platinum is heavy. It is a very dense metal. It's the densest of the precious metal. Yes. Am I, this is going to go for the um, um, whenever Tricky Guy does his uh, chat room recaps, he's going to include that in there. He's going to say this is this is was in this live stream. Sal said, Psh. Let's see here. Drain the Swamp is not here, by the way, just so you guys understand. What's that sound, guys? Anybody? Anybody? Listen to that. Oh, tell me what that is. Don't forget Rowingendium, pre precious metal created in a partic particle accelerator. What is the atomic number in that son of a biscuit? 118 or 122? Quarter. No, it's not a quarter. Good question. Good, good, good guess. Not nail clippers. Thank you, Donald in New Mexico. Silver quarter. No, not a silver. I tell you, here's a hint. It's not, it's not a silver quarter, and it's not silver, and it's not a slurp either. But this is a slurp. It's not a Morgan. It sounded them working on a chain gang. Sounds like he's flicking a lighter. Nope. Just guess the metal. What metal is it? What metal? Metal. Listen, listen, listen one more time. Dude, tricky guy got it. Tricky guy, boom. In fact, he was very specific because it was the sound of my thumbnail hitting the platinum. Tricky guy must have some way to hack into my... Uh, to my, my computer and turn on my webcam. Way to go, tricky guy. Dude, you the man. You the man. Uh, 
<laughs> you bumble leather Cheerio. <laughs> It's, and it's a 2009 enhanced reverse proof ASC. I took it out of the capsule and flipped it. That's right. Actually, if I was to do that, it would sound like this. Tricky knows everything. My thumbnail hurts now. Dang, my thumbnail hurts. Tricky turned Sal on. That's right. Ricky. Terry just called him a Ricky. All right, guys. Okay, guys. Now it's time for the bum rush. We've been going on for quite a while here. I appreciate you guys being here. A multitude of gratitude and all that jazz. Remember, here's the here's the advice I leave you guys with here. And that is to keep your feet on the stars and keep reaching for the ground. Hello, Adri. We're just going to, to uh, shut her down here tonight, but I appreciate you popping in. Appreciate you. Barbara, safe travels to you. Have a safe flight. I appreciate you. Thank you, Terry, for the like. You're awesome. Appreciate. Thanks for putting up with me. I know I'm joking around with Terry tonight, but she's a good sport. Thanks, all is one now. Thank you, Cliff, all you guys. Mark B., appreciate you. Mike Miller, Graham Stacker, thanks so much, my friend. Y'all have a good night. Hello, Stacking Storm Trooper. We're just getting ready to pop out, my friend. Appreciate you. Y'all have a good one. A multitude of craptitude. I'm sorry. I mean, a multitude of gratitude. Pew, pew. Take it easy, everybody. Have a good night. See you.